I'm live. Uh, and I'm angry. <clears throat> Let me turn on some more lights. Oh, I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Let's see. <sighs> eh, a bit. <sighs> so how's it going? Super. Um, I am... Eh, from losing my mind, I updated my Mac to Mojave, and it has been nothing but hell on earth. Um, a bunch of the apps I used to use, including my older version of Photoshop, don't work on here, and I can't get them to work on here. And then I was sitting, I'm like, you know what? F all this. I'm just going to chill out with my homies on the tube. Blah, da, 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 da. And then I go to stream a video so we could have this chat. And now I can't do live streams through Hangouts. Yes. Yes. My battery also does not have the juice it used to. Um, but yeah, I have to use Chrome now instead of just using Safari like I was. So um, that kind of <laughs> makes me a little cranky. <sighs> but other than that, how's everyone's holiday going? <clears throat> this is going to be very chillaxed for the first few minutes here. Um, so much so, Zoe took the car to work. And I totally let that happen. It was my fault. And I didn't realize I was out of coffee. So I had more coffee out of the filter with coffee that was already in the coffee pot. It's pretty disgusting. But it's not horrible. A sporadic reader is in school, so holidays equal project work. Boom, you do it. You run that. You gotta. What are you taking in school? Is there a way? Nope, I don't know how to do that. Graduate student in computer science. Damn. That's a little um, more respectable than um, booktube channels. So congratulations. Kill it. You're killing it. All right. <clears throat> well, um, this isn't like a mail hall, mail hall. It kind of is. Um, but I got a book that I had when I was a wee tyke. And I want to go through it with you. And I even showed Zoe and she's like, you can't just do this in a book hall. Like you need to do a whole video on this. So that's kind of what this is. But I also got the out of print holiday catalog with all the cool stuff in it. And I wanted to go through it with y'all. Making the holidays bookish and bright with gift ideas for readers of all ages. From Edgar Allan Poe to J.K. Rowling, we have you covered. Wow. I will say I did peek at this and there's some cool shit in here. 
There could be cooler shit in here. <clears throat> but out of print does do it well. What they do do. Yes, I said a do do. So right off the bat, we have a ton of Harry Potter merchandise. Look at that. Look at that. So if you're into Harry Potter, that's super cool. And in fact, the first like five or six pages are pretty much <clears throat> um, that, although this shirt's pretty funny. Books turn muggles into wizards. Yeah, she looks like a wizard. She's like, huh? What? So that's cool. Although this fantastic books and where to find them, that's funny. I thought that was a Lovecraft shirt and I got all excited. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. I don't even know if this is backwards for you guys or not. Um, okay, now now we're getting into, into the real shiz. Oh my gosh, Golden Books. Look, for those of you who read little Golden Books when you were a child. But look at this, Jaws. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to get ready for all of this stuff because this is where shit gets real. Okay. Fahrenheit 451 socks. Can you believe it? And then there's some other socks that aren't as interesting to me. But look at these socks. Yeah, those are socks. And those are Library Pride. Um, book Nerd. Read the Rainbow. These are backwards for me. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And don't let the fiction... Wait, what's it say? Don't let the pigeon drive the bus, please. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, now we got some other awesome ones. We got banned books in sock form. Yeah. Library card in sock form. Hungry Caterpillar, whatevs. Edgar Allan Poe socks for your co toes. <gasps> Oh, Edgar Allan Poe Kadots. That's even funnier than what I said. Sherlock Holmes Badots and the Little Prince. Oh my goodness. Oh, did we not even look at this? Banned Books Knee High. I think you're kind of taking this whole thing a step too far. Write Life Typewriter. Oh my gosh. They have TBR socks. I can't even tell what that is, though. But yeah, Typewriter socks. Great Gatsby socks. There's actually quite a bit of Gatsby stuff in here. Which is kind of weird. I guess it's not too weird, but it just seems kind of weird. What is that? Enamel pin set. Ah, ah. So we got a bunch of Poe stuff. That Raven shirt's pretty cool. Um, we got totes. We got mugs. We got whatever the hell the rest of that stuff is. So that's cool. Oh, world of Eric Carl. Love it from the very hungry... Catarpalar. Do you want to see that? There you go. And I won't say what I was going to say. All right. Okay. Now here 
is where I start chopping. Okay, so what do we have here? We have that Jaws shirt that Zoe already has. Ulysses, Alice in Wonderland, Pride and Prejudice. Look at this Frankenstein shirt. Sick. What? Slaughterhouse Five? Yep, that's what that is. Gatsby. Jane Airhead. Adventures of Schlocky Holmes. Man. Okay, then we got I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, The Odyssey, 100 Years of Solitude, Invisible Man, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Of Mice and Men, and is that Hey Boo to Kill a Mockingbird? Awesome. That Moby Dick shirt Zoe freaked about. And Song of Solomon. Oh, 28 bucks, man. Is that like a normal t-shirt price? Have I been out of the, the t-shirt game for that long? That I don't know how much a goddamn t-shirt should cost. <sighs> okay. Look at Nancy Drew. Kaplawi. That's awesome. If you're into that. Phantom Toll Booth. Where the Wild Things Are. Hey, Jody. I need to get Jody Amish romance socks. <laughs> and try. Um, where can I find those t-shirts? This You can find all this stuff at outofprint.com. I bought some mugs there um, for me and Zoe a while back. And luckily for me... Oh, dude, I got her that mug too. Zoe's swimming in mugs. Because I got her one of these library card mugs for her... Um, Succulents, not to drink out of, but to grow succulents out of. So those are cool. They're like a library card. Um, what do we got? Book nerd, little prints where the wild things are. Bookshelf. Actually, the bookshelf one is kind of neat. I just wonder if you could read. Ooh, there's a typewriter. Buy any three mugs, get one free. Oh my gosh. Now this is where I start. Rolling in my 5.0. Okay, check this out. We got Edgar Allan Poe mug. Pretty cool. Alice in Wonderland mug. That's actually a pretty cool picture, but this is where I'm going to freak out. Breakfast of Champions. That's like my favorite book in the world. And look at that mug. Kaplawi. Oh, wait. What? You want a mead composition book? Well, we can't say mead, but look at that. Because that's awesome. And then we have one of these like cold hot cups. So when it's cold, banned books, heat, I can't read that. Is that reactive? Yeah. So it's a bunch of stuff, but then when the hot comes in, it like tells you what the books are. That is cool. Look at that. That is so cool. Because I have a banned book mug that's not that cool. It doesn't do that. Um... So, like, what tail? Oh, it's not even showing me what it is. That's not... Tell, bird. <clears throat> yeah, I wish they would have had it. I love color-changing cups. Did you see the cup I got, Zoe, with the shark infestation at the beach? Where it just shows all these people at the beach, and then when you pour stuff in it, like, sharks show up. That one's pretty cool. Okay, <clears throat> for those of you who are great Gatsby fans, look at all the Gatsby merch. They even have pendants. What's that? Oh, uh oh, what's this? Are those enamel pins or is that a matchbox set? I think it's a matchbox set. Ooh, necklaces. What the hell is going on here? <clears throat> okay, what you get a notebook, a unisex tea. 
a sweatshirt, a scoop tee, a West Egg pennant, a pouch, a tote, a matchbook, and a necklace on gold or silver. Holy happy holidays. That's pretty awesome. Oh, no. Oh. They're trying so hard. <clears throat> okay. Punk rock authors. Because when I see that chick, the first thing I think is punk rock. Um, and there's a quote from Oscar Wilde on it. It says, it is through disobedience that progress has been made through disobedience and through rebellion. Oh my gosh. So Jane Austen, Maya Angelou, Oscar Wilde, and more rebellious writers. Oh, that's quite shit. Um, I get all my punk rock merch from catalogs. <laughs> right? That is exactly it. Hello, Michael. Oh, my gosh. The band book. Uh, I mean, you could get band book boxers. You know, and what the fuck are these? Uh, oh, scarves. I'm like, why are they shown like that? I don't, know. I don't know. Let's see. And then for those of you that have babies and you want to read your babies because your babies can't read because they're babies. <sighs> Let's see what else we got. They got a bunch of enamel pins if you're into that kind of shiznat. As much as I do not ever have a use for enamel pins, this library card pin set with the stamp and the card, that's pretty badass. I'm going to just come right out and say it. Bookstore cat. See, I'm not crazy. Bookstore cat. Okay, a while back, I said, why is it that every goddamn used bookstore I go into has at least one cat, like, cruising around, coming out of bookcases, scaring the shit out of me? And some people were like, what? There's cats at bookstores? And I'm like, what? Yeah, there's a ton. Um, so, yeah, you got totes and pouches. Uh, let's see. Well, bookstores, cats, life is sweet. Does it really say that? Life is sweet? Oh, my God. Is that really the best they could come up with? Is that from something? Am I really thick? Hey, am I not getting it? Bookstores, cats, life is sweet. I would say... Bookstores, cats, someone needs to change the litter box. Book nerd socks, in case, like, like this person, you take off your shoes when you are reading in a park and you show your feet perfectly normally. I love out of print sweaters. Best bang for your buck, because they can. How's it? Um, let's see. Bodega cats sneak up on me more. Bookstore cats are usually fat, lazy cats in my experience. Yeah, yeah, that is true. And they're always like super like long hair. Like it's rare you find like a really short hair bookstore cat. Um, so it's kind of like they they're coming at you. Our used bookstore has rats, but no cats. You've you've seen rats come out in the bookstore you you go to. Like you've seen them come out and like scare you and shit. 
a used bookstore by me has four cats. I think at the Iliad in North Hollywood, I think there's three cats. I think. Um, but all the other ones I've been to, there's usually only one. Four is fucking intense, dude. Especially if the place isn't really that big. That is... That's rough. I do really like the library stamp shirt as well. That's super cool. And then you could get library card socks for toddlers since when they grow up, they will have no idea what a library is. So that'll be good. Oh. There you are. Now, just in case... You were going to bring back slap bracelets. Boom. Library card slap bracelet. Um, never saw one, but they behind sign. Oh, they shit behind signs. That's disgusting. This is how we roll. That's funny. It's a book cart. And it says, this is how we roll. Oh, that's funny. Guys, would you wear library card boxers? Or is that just asking for trouble? I don't know. Really? Everyone poops in a baby thing? Yeah. All right. Okay. That's a little low brow. Even for this channel. Let's see here. Everybody poops. Oh, now I'm going to be singing that. Oh, and then for those of you who like Handmaid's Tale, um, I don't, I've never watched it or read it, but there's that little, uh, no light in your blue boo baby maker sign. Um, how do you say it? No light tea bastards car Bernard Dardrum. No, it's like four rooms and the owner's cat, so they just bring them in. It's cool. They just hang out mostly in science fiction. I hate that cats have like certain genres that they hang out in because they do do that, and it's very annoying because it's usually where I want to go. Um, then there are these pretty awesome sci-fi and dystopian teas. Let's take a look. So we got 1984, want it, mind of my mind, want that clockwork orange shirt, handmaid's tale, do androids dream of electric sheep? Dude, if that shirt wasn't that color... And that cut, because I believe that is a woman's cut. I don't think it would um, accentuate my hips the right way. We got Fahrenheit 451, Hitchhiker's Guide, Ender's Game, and Animal Farm. That clockwork shirt is freaking awesome. It is. Uh, last year, Zoe got me that... Um, edition of that book the penguin from the i think 70s or whatever and then for some reason you know there's they have like matchbox collections with book covers on them which is kind of cool i guess they have necklaces they have a so it goes necklace and if it didn't look so like that i would rock that like a mofo you're like, like what? What are you talking about? And I'm just like, my sister wears necklaces like that. And since me and my sister have the same eyebrows, the last thing I want to do is have the same necklace as her. So that was fun, right? I like catalogs. That was good fun. We should do this all the time. Okay, but... What I really wanted to show you guys, the special treat 
Okay. I've had this on my wish list forever, and it went on sale for five bucks, and I had to get it. I had this book as a youngin, and I don't know what happened to it. What is that Barlow's guide to extra cheeseburgers? Terrestrials. It's Barlow's guide to extraterrestrials. Um, Wayne Douglas Barlow and Ian Summers, forward by the brothers Hildebrandt. Full color illustrations, great aliens from science fiction literature. This guy right here, Overlord, we'll talk about him in a little bit. I had nightmares of him for a very long time. Um, and if I would have just read the goddamn book he was in, I probably wouldn't have. Um, so yeah, so, um, Wayne Douglas Barlow, he just likes to paint shit. Oh my gosh. This is like the exact same edition I had and everything. <sighs> okay. Basically when I would go to my dad's house, um, I have the, so it goes necklace. Look at you. Picks or it didn't happen. Make it real. So this came out in 79, first printing, um, Workman Publishing Company, New York. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're going to, we're going to skip the forward here and we're going to get to the nitty gritty because when I used to look at this book, okay, I'm going to take the dust jacket off because I'm afraid I'm going to rip it because I don't know if you could see, but it is, oh, I just totally almost fucked that up. It's very, um, crusty, let's say like it, it's seen some better days folks. Okay. But yeah. So when I used to look at this, I would go to my dad's house and this is one of the only books of his, he would let me look at because it had pictures in it, but like, I'd have to go wash my hands and then I would get to come out and look at it. Um, and I just thought it was so cool. And then he ended up getting me my own copy probably cause he was afraid I was going to fuck his up. Okay. This is the abiormentite, whatever the hell that is. When I was a kid, I did realize that a lot of these aliens had things that looked like buttholes. I'm not going to say what it was. But yeah, so this is from Cycle of Fire by Hal Clement. Never heard of it. Let me know if it's any good. Look at that. I used to tr practice drawing all these too. <gasps> well, here you go. Here's one that I remember. Do you guys know what that's from? It is the... Oh, I can't even read that upside down. Ashtian from the word for world is forest by Ursula K. Le Guin. Look at that guy. I used to go, man, look at those chops. And I totally remember that long hair in the back. I'm like, wow, what's that doing? Oh, so this is what the whole book is like. Oh my gosh. I'm having such deja vu. Um, we got the black cloud. From The Black Cloud by Fred Hoyle. I can't believe he drew a black cloud. Could have done better, dude. Oh my gosh, this chick used to freak me out. I don't know why I said chick. I used to always think it was a girl. This is the, the Chulpex from Masters of the Maze. By Avram Davidson. Look at that. Double torso. What? Look at that. Look at those cool little toenails. And that's the back. Like a little cockroach thing. Oh my gosh. I used to totally spend hours just stay. Oh my gosh. I totally remember. Hospital Station Star Surgeon. This is a Sinrus. 
And that book is by James White. Look at that fucking thing. Look, it's holding a scalpel all funny. That's funny, right? Is this interesting, guys? Man, I spent... I know I'm just going to... But it tells you, like, the physical characteristics, the culture, um, little special things about it. Oh, the crier. From Conscious Interplanetary by Joseph Green. Look at that. It's a tree thing. And what's that say? It says... The air, yeah, I can't read it upside down. The air vibration speaker membrane of the crier was created by Unity to facilitate communication with Tyrans. Holy blah, blah. It's funny because, like, I bet Steve and Mark have read every single one of these books. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the Jupiter theft by Donald Moffat. This is the shit. The Saignan. This used to always freak me out. Cause look at him. He's like, Hey, I got two eyes on top and eye on the bottom, you know? Oh, and I got this giant parasitic tick on my tum tum. Look at it. It's just chilling on his tummy. Right. I don't even remember why it was there. An engorged parasitic male showing his extended extended feeding tube. What? Kind of gross. I have. Oh my god! I remember this guy too. Um, the Signostic from A Little Knowledge by Michael Bishop. Look at how many joints that fucker's legs got. Oh my gosh. And I used to look at this eyes like he could like blink two different ways. Eh. Why? Don't know. Each eye contains two horizontal pupils connected by a thin rod forming an hourglass shape. One pupil faces forward. The other is located on the outer edge of the eye patch. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Things are getting real. I used to think this was Gumby, but it's not Gumby. It is Zill from Midnight at the Well of Souls by Jack L. Chaka. Look at that. And it's got, like, roots coming out of his feet or something. Oh my gosh, this is from A Plague of Demons by Keith Lemire, maybe? Wonder what it's going to be called. How about Demon? Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a horse, but with people hands. And some, like, skull face. And little tiny ears. And someone even strapped on a little purse. I guess he could do it, because he's got fingers and opposable thumbs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Demu from Cage of Man by F.M. Fussbear. A close up of a Demu mouth with its tongue in a smiling position. Because his mouth doesn't work like normal mouths. Look at that. I'm like, why has he got Braille on his tummy? <laughs> God, I think things are crawling on me now. Whew, the Right Hand of Dextra by David J. Lake. Dextran. Looks like it's got a hoo-ha with a couple hairs. It's kind of weird. Let's just turn the page. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Spatial Delivery Space Paw by Gordon R. Dixon. This is the Dilbian. Look at that badass mofo. He's like, I'm a lumberjack. I got different color fur. I'm a lumberjack. He's got a very large head. It's very long. 
Oh, man. I used to think this guy was such a badass. This is Deer Deer from the book The Deer Deer by Jack Vance. Look at that badass motherfucker with his giant eyebrows that go like halfway to Kansas and back. Look, he's got sharp little toes. A three-toed deer deer foot with claws. Oh, man, what? It's like backwards. These claws make deadly weapons. What's that word? Unsheathed. Oh. Brit! I'm, I'm showing pictures of stuff. Oh my god. I used to stare at this stuff and had no idea what it was. You are not too late. I didn't get a notification until just now. 35 minutes and 59 seconds in, you're just now getting notifications. I'm going to have a word with YouTube. Okay, this is the Garnishy from Star Smashers of the Galaxy Rangers by Harry Harrison. Okay, look at this like Rastafarian tree, okay? It's just chilling. And then there's this picture here, and you're like, oh, what's that? Oh, okay. I used to look at this all the time. What's it say? Oh, that's his fucking brain in his feet. He keeps his brain in his feet. Oh, my gosh. You've been walking through my mind all day. Oh, that's a good joke. Now I think this, and now here's me putting gender roles on people again. This is um, from the Dosidai experiment by Frank Herbert. This is a Gawachin. Look. Knees all going wonky and crazy. Unbelievable. Um, oh, fertility marks found on the arm of the female. Pretty interesting. Um, fighting claws can retract. Look at that right there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then these two Gachuan eyelid tattoos... Oh my god, I always thought that that was a finger knuckle. But these are like, just like a cutaway of the eye. Oh my gosh. Eyelid tattoos indicate membership in a particular phylum. The tattoo on the left represents running phylum. Uh, that on the right, deep swimmer's phylum. That is so cool. The frog prince. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is Barlow's Guide to Extraterrestrials. It's just an artist who drew a bunch of pictures of science fiction aliens that he liked when he read the books, I guess. Um, and I had this book that came out in 79, and I had this when I was little. And um, I used to look at it all the time, and I just got it. It came in the mail today. It was only $5 on Amazon. Can you believe it? Oh, dude, this motherfucker's so badass. This is from Doom Messiah. I didn't even know this is from Doom Messiah. This is the Guild Steersman. Look at this fucker, dude. Yo, I got more fucking fingers than I know what to do with, and I ain't afraid to use them. Holy shit. Hey, why the long face? Waka, waka, waka. Okay, let's see. Um, flared nostril reveals delicate gill filaments with addictive spice. Oh, my gosh. He's just a giant drug addict. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am having, like, the best time in the world right now. Um, that is kind of foul but we will talk about it anyway, I guess. This is from Fire Time by Paul Anderson. This is a Ishtarin. Look at that. 
Look at that. I got leaves for hair. I got a sword. You can see my bee hole. It's kind of gross. I got an axe. Um, so this is the difference between the male and the female. The male has a hump. The female, it's more of a slope. And then for some reason, he drew the um, backup. Like if you were to like to be sneaking up on a female, what you would see, kind of weird. The re rear view of a female showing her brightly colored external genitalia and udders. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, a wrinkle in time. This is the X chill. Look at, oh my gosh. I used to love this guy. He just looked like a big old tree dude with four arms. And look at those calves. He's not skipping leg day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, dude, I'm sorry I keep screaming. But like, I'm, okay, this is an X toll from The Voyage of the Space Beagle by A.E. Van Vock. Okay, how do you say his last name? I was just talking about this when I was reading Astounding. V-O-G-T, A.E. Van Vo. Van Vo. I'm going to say Van Vo for now on. Okay, so this guy's kind of crazy looking. Looks like a cross between a bedpost and a dildo. But um, that's what we got. Yeah. Now you're trying to figure out if I have that many appendages on my bedpost. And I'm not going to tell you. Oh my gosh, A Case of Conscience by James Blish. Oh my god. This is a lithium. And that's the life cycle. It's very rainbow bright. Oh my gosh, this is so flippin' cool, dude. Ooh, the master from the White Mountains, the City of Gold, and Lead. Is it Lead or Lead the Pool of Fire? I don't know. Matt, you really should hear all the shit Brit's saying about you in Insomni Chat. Probably. Let's see. I'm certain of it now. Matt only streams when I'm at work. God damn, thus looks like Shan porn. What the F are you showing these people? Um, then Michael says, I always say Voight by mistake. I think it's Vote. Is it Van Vote? Vote. Yeah. That could be it. He was from Canada, right? Is that um what Devin Insomniac Brit? Eh. Okay, lots of fun. Okay, this is John Christopher. I don't mean to stream when you're at work, bro. Like Shaylee was supposed to go to her friend's house, and Zoe has the car. So I was waiting for Shaylee to go to her friend's house because if I didn't, as soon as I start, her friends would show up. They'd run up the stairs screaming. Shaylee would run out here screaming. The dogs would be barking, blah, 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 blah. But no, I wanted to do this at six. And I even, I think I messaged Britt and said, hey, I'm going to do a live stream in a couple minutes. And that was like a year and a half ago. Um, but yeah, so here's the master. Kind of got gypped on the, in the arm department, but he's got a couple mouths. And some eyes. Looks kind of like a volcano. Got something funny with his skin on the other page. Two master complexion tone variations. Hmm. Skin color is not a basis for discrimination in master culture. That's good. There was a dog at my house. And dude, it's fine. Good. This still looks like stuff Shan would hit under the mattress for a long time. Wait till I get to some actual, um, I don't want to say penile, but there's some pretty, uh, 
There's some stuff in here. So let's look at the Medusan from The Legion of Space by Jack Williamson. Oh, that looks just kind of like a green jellyfish, but it's got a couple eyes right there. And if you look over here, it's got some yellow thing underneath it. Let's find out what that is. Ah, ooh, each eye is 12 inches long. That thing must be huge then. Um, the detail of the flotation organ located on the underside of the Medusan torso. There is no satisfactory explanation as to how these organs function at the present time. Well, this is circa 1979. So maybe, oh, you know what? I used to think this dude was super cool. Ensign Flandry. By Paul Anderson. This is a uh, Mercian. I was just going to read this book, too. That's what's funny. Um, I used to think this dude was pretty scary looking. But now that I look at him, he looks kind of smug. And I don't think his arms and legs are really that big. I think it's just kind of all, all a look. I think he was kind of trying to F with me there. Yeah. Let's see, Alien Erotica. Dude, I'm at work, and that totally sounds NSF dub. Yep, it does. You're going to get fired. Oh, my God. Mission of Gravity by Hal Clement. This is the Miskel Knight. This thing, I was like, wow, if I was ever, like, a thing. If you guys don't like scorpions or snakes, you might want to look away. That thing is badass. This book is like a goddamn demon book from fucking um, Dungeons and Dragons, dude. Strange Relations by Philip Jose Farmer. Now that name, Philip Jose Farmer... I can't remember what, but I think he continued a series and the author got really pissed off that he did that. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Philip Jose Farmer. Damn it. I'm going to have to look that up. This is from Strange Relations. This is Mother. It's like a little house, and it's got a brain in the basement. Roots. Kind of weird. Um, yeah. They could reproduce. All mothers are immobile and female. Hmm. Oh, my God. A size chart. Oh my god, it's a fold-out size chart. I forgot all about this. Oh, I don't want to give too much away. Okay, Old Galactic by James H. Schmitz. There he is, Old Galactic. He's a slug, and that's how he moves. This. Oh my gosh, we are getting... Oh my god! At the Mountains of Effin' Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, this is an old one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So let's see what all of his little funny things are. Um, a detail of a closed and open eye. The old one's lids almost totally retract from around the eyeball. Ooh, look at that. It goes all the way around. Interesting. Let's see what else we got. Um, the mouth bulb closed and open. Where the fuck is this mouth bulb at? Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh. I never knew that's what that was. I thought those were eyes. But those are the mouth bulbs next to the little nose things, like the mouth bulbs. 
It's pretty interesting. Okay, so this is what the mouth looks like. If you notice, inside, it's like a bunch of little prickly things. And that's what his mouth looks like when it's closed. It's like, kiss face, kissy face. Okay. Um, the cilia on the top of the old one's head apparently supplement its vision in absence of light. The species is able to see using these organs. Ooh, how interesting. If you look at these little hairs on the banana looking things, that helps him see. And finally, fossil footprints found um, made while an old one was living on land. I never knew that's what that was. That's supposed to be like a footprint. Huh. Unbelievable. Now, this is where, like, my childhood turns into scary hell. Um, what universe are these from? It's a bunch of different ones. Like, each page is like a different book. He wrote a book of Venus... On a clamshell, I think that was under the name of one of Vonnegut's characters. Yes, I think that's right. Which is weird because now Vonnegut's work is open in Kindle Worlds. So if he would have just waited until now, um, he could have done that without any problem. I wonder what book it was. Huh. Anyway, so this is Overlord. This is from Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. I had nightmares that this guy would come into my house, and you see that little purple vial? He would take that and, like, just squeeze a little drop out of it, and it would, like, sizzle you and burn you. Like, like bore a hole through your head. And um, I walked in my parents' room, and he was, like, hovering over their bed, killing my parents um that i had another dream that he tried to kill my dog i had a dream he was trying to come in through the bathroom window above the shower when i was taking a shower trying to sizzle me um he and he lived in this like little hill it wasn't a little hill it was a big hill but at the end of my street and all the tarantulas in the neighborhood would like run and there were like hundreds and thousands and they would like run into this hole. And as they would go down in the hole, he would come up out of the hole. Cause in my dream, I guess I thought he was like made out of millions of tarantulas or something. Um, and then look at his hand. He has double opposable thumbs, and he's got that bitch and bat wing. Now, if as a child someone would have read Childhood's End to me, this would not have scared me. Uh, maybe if I read this, I wouldn't have been afraid either. I don't know. I haven't read this because when I was looking at this, it was just me being tiny. Um, and here is the noom. I guess the P is silent. Um, let me see. Uh, oh my God. Did you look up Kindle worlds because we told you about it the other day? No, I remember Kindle worlds had Vonnegut and GI Joe, but that was the only thing I remember of Kindle worlds, but we got to like look into Kindle worlds for sure. From Wikipedia, Venus on the Half Shell is a science fiction novel by American writer Philip A. Farmer. Writing is Kilgore Trout. That's what it was, dude. Oh, Michael, thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's right. All right. Well, this is this terrifying chick thing. This is the kind of thing that would make Zoe like have nightmares. And for some reason, I don't know what that says. I haven't read it yet, but I always thought that this person was a golfer 
and that's why they held stuff like that, like a golf club. Um, flexible toes allow it to grasp objects with its feet. Oh, that's its feet. The specialized rasping mouth parts of look almost mechanical close up. See, that's that's its feet. Okay, and I used to think that was his hands. Okay. Oh my gosh. Polarian from Cluster by Piers Anthony. Let me see here. Um, Venus Half Shell. Oh, yeah, yeah. The book first appeared. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've written. Uh, with Vonnegut's permission, Farmer expanded the fragment into an entire standalone novel, including as an end joke a scene that incorporates all of Vonnegut's original text. I thought Vonnegut was pissed about it. I'll, I'll check that article out. Um, but yeah, look at. I used to love the color. It's like a like a rich mahogany. Don't know what it is, but if you want to see him have sex, there you go, because that's what that is, probably. Um, the final embrace of a Polarian couple in which the male selflessly gives the female his own ball. Good God. Male Polarian releases his own wheel and takes the lower half of the female's wheel into his empty wheel chamber. <sighs> Man, I might need to run into the bedroom for a minute there. That, that sounded pretty hot. Oh, am, am I ignoring Brit? Don't say anything bad, because I'm streaming. Is this bad, Brit? Oh, what if it's like, dude, like, okay, I'm going to have to just turn this down and listen to it. I'm sorry, guys. Don't listen. La, 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 la. Okay. That wasn't bad. I was going to talk about that, too. If, oh, the postcard. Okay. Um, sh shit, I had it right here. Anyway, I mail, if, if you... If I have your address, you got a postcard from me today and it had like, just like what's been going on, um, a little short story because it's on a postcard and stuff like that. Actually, there were two short stories on it. Um, but if I have your address, I sent you one. And if I don't have your address and you want me to send you postcards, uh, message me and send me your address and I'll send you postcards because it's something I'm kind of wanting to do more of now. So um, just send me an email to mattwallwrites at gmail.com with your email address or, or with your home address or your P.O. box. Your home address so I could sneak up on you and destroy you. Okay, so Neutron Star Ring World, Larry Niven. That is a puppeteer. That's kind of weird. I got to move this along. Eradicate from Memoirs of a Space Woman by Naomi Mitchison. Look at that thing. It's like a starfish. This thing used to freak me out too. Regal from the Faded Sun Kesrith by C.J. Chera. Look at it. And look at his little tiny feet. But you can't see it because it's wearing like a skirt. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Rim from The Voyage of the Space Beagle by A.E. Van Vogt is what we'll say right now. So there you go. Oh my gosh. Rumble. The Alien Way by Gordon R. Dixon. Look at this. He looks a little smug. And this is a Salaman from Wild Blood's Empire by Brian M. Stableford. He's like, I'm wearing a leaf for a hat. Everybody, I got a leaf hat. And I have this thing to strap it on my head. So... This is a Syrian from Age of the Pussyfoot by Frederick Pohl. I want a leaf hat. 
Um, he became very pissed when it sold well because they thought he wrote it. Ah, Michael, thank you. And this is Slash from Krillian Quest by Piers Anthony. Uh, if the whole book is about that thing, that might be a little boring. Ooh, and the soft one, it looks like Yoke. That is from The Gods Themselves by Isaac Asimov. Holy mackerel. Oh, man. There's just so... Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to look for some ones that I... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The thing from Who Goes There? The thing. Look, it's got dog legs. Oh my gosh, I never knew that's what that was. Trent, I used to like this guy. That is from World of Word I Can't Say by Larry Niven. Uh, this is Tran from The Ice Rigger by Alan Dean Foster. I used to like that he walked on his toenails. Like he could ice skate or something. That's kind of cool. Um, this is the Triped from... Uh, Rule Golden by Damon Knight. Kind of weird. Let's see what else we got here. Some crazy spaceship. Some other looking thing. That a vegan. Have spacesuit will travel by Robert Heinlein. Look, it's a vegan. That looks like normal vegans. That's crazy. Oh my god. Children of the Lens by E.E. E. Doc Smith. The Valentin. This thing's terrifying. I didn't understand why it had exhaust pipes coming out of it. I still don't. But maybe I will learn. Oh, wow. Look, it's, and it's got a bunch of sketches. Holy Red monkeys. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. And then, wait, there's a picture of like some castle headed dude. Where's that? I remember that. I think. <gasps> there he is! The castle headed dude. Oh my gosh. And look, okay. This used to freak me out. Okay. There's this body and it's got a castle head okay and look there's a person next to him down on the ground they could probably live in that castle what the what what's that from type entering a villar deity figure from type type i wonder if that's like Thype crossing the plain of Ib. Oh my god. I need to look this up. This is just epic stuff here. Oh, look at this scary fucking thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh my god. There's Overlord flying. Oh, so cool. Weird. Well, anyway, so this was just awesome. Like, I love this book. Do my fingers glow in the dark? Britt, that is a personal question, and I'm telling Zoe you asked me it. Whew. All right, guys. Well, um, that was Barlow's Guide to Extraterrestrials. I'm so excited um, to dig into that more. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to figure out coffee and all that other stuff. So folks, thank you for hanging out with me. 
It was lovely. You are all terrific. And if you want me to send you postcards, send me your address. Okay. Bye, BookTube.